Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Um, if you haven't been subscribed to me, please consider doing so. I post two times a week, every Tuesday and Saturday. Okay, so today I'm going to tell you the 10 perfume that I have decluttered. And these are good ones. My collection keeps growing and I have a lot of perfume that I've acquired recently and because of that some has to go unfortunately these are really good perfume but they have to leave and I'm gonna tell you the reason why they left my perfume collection all right so before we start I'm gonna show you the shirt that I'm wearing today this is a shirt from Lily Silk it's a super comfortable like a boxy type casual silk I love it so much. I wear it with legging. I also wear it with a pencil skirt that I'm wearing today that I'm going to show you. Yeah, so this is the second time I'm working with Dilly Silk. I absolutely in love with this shirt. To be honest, this is more like my style than the first shirt that I wore, the formal silk shirt. So I, I absolutely love it. This is very loose and very comfortable so silk has a lot of benefits i love wearing silk i used to go to goodwill and just buy a lot of the silk clothing just because they have so many benefits uh, to the skin and to the hair they absorb moisture they're breathable it makes me sleep better they're anti-aging they're soft to your skin and smooth they're also hypoallergenic so i'm actually very allergic to microfiber um, so i have to use either silk or cotton they're soft and lightweight they're durable and they're very hygienic so if you own silk before and use silk you know that they don't absorb much water so if i spill water it's really easily wiped off and if it has contact with dirt you could always easily like brush it off from your shirt as well so yeah i absolutely love silk so lily silk is an online retailer that sells silk different shirts so this one i'm gonna put the price here they have a lot of different kind of quality silk product they sell blouses pajamas pillowcases and bedding set so yeah this time I got this shirt as well as a sleep set, including the hair case and the stuff to cover your eyes when you sleep. I forgot what it's called. Anyway, so, so without further ado, let's get started. So I have decluttered 10 perfume in this video. The first perfume that I decluttered is from Dua. This is Dua Cherry Casino. I love this perfume. Don't get me wrong, this is a clone of Tom Ford Lost Cherry and Baccarat 540. Love it, I actually wear it a lot. The reason why I decluttered is because I get another clone of Tom Ford Lost Cherry from Dossier and I figured I don't want two of the same thing and I thought I have clout and I also have Dossier. So that's why one has to go. I chose to let go of Dua. But looking back, maybe I should have kept it. But regardless, um, I made my decision at the time. One thing that bothers me about Dua is the packaging. Like, I am a little bit perfectionist, maybe. Is that what you called? When it comes to arranging my perfume, Dua bottle is really small and compact, which I like. But the problem is that it kind of is too small and don't really fit in my whole overall aesthetic. So I used to put it next to my like tiny 10 mil samples next to it, even though it was 30 mil. But it just bothers me and I thought I have Dossier and Dossier is gifted to me by the way. And that's why I put it next to the other Dossier because they match better. Anyway, so that's my logic. but. Regardless, I have decluttered Dua Cherry Casino. I do love it and I do recommend it, by the way. So number two, the perfume that I've decluttered is Mugler Alien Salted Caramel Butter. I actually really, really enjoyed this one. It smells 99% similar as Alien Essence Absolute. And I love Alien Essence Absolute and I have 60 mil and then I also have another backup 60 mil so I have 120 mil of Alien Essence Absolute 
that's a little bit too much for me so between alien salted caramel butter and alien essence absolute i prefer alien essence absolute so because of that that one's leaving um, my perfume collection number three killian sweet redemption this is a beautiful perfume it smells like love don't be shy killian but instead of marshmallow replace it with horse radish texture so that's the best way to describe it just because it has myrrh and other like earthy i don't know it has this like horse radishy texture when you smell it um you know another perfume that has horse radish texture is lolita land by lolita lambica which i already decluttered as well so imagine like Lolita Land Lolita from Lolita Lampica, like that horse radish texture. And then, but the scent is Killian Love Don't Be Shy. That's what Killian Sweet Redemption is. Number four, Guerlain Mon Exclusive. I really, really enjoy it, but it is so hard to find. And, and the bottle is beautiful. But it smells like 99% similar to Guerlain Mon Guerlain. If I'm a perfume collector, I would have kept that. But I find it really hard as a perfume reviewer or a person that talk about perfume to refer to Mon Exclusive a lot because it's pointless. You guys can buy it. So because of that, I rather keep and promote the perfume that you guys can get instead of a discontinued product because to me it's like it's pointless and plus it smells so similar you know if i really absolutely absolutely love the perfume which i do and i can find anything that's like it i might still use it i might still keep it i might still promote it but if it smells so similar i'd rather keep the one that you guys could get so because of that i declutter that perfume Number five, Chanel Chance Au Tundra. This is Eau de Parfum version. I used to be obsessed with Chanel and I used to love that scent profile so much, but I kind of grew out of it. Uh, I don't know why the perfume doesn't work out for me anymore. Chanel DNA is a very classy and sophisticated and, and pretty, but the thing is that perfume is a little bit too pretty for me it doesn't fit my personality. I have, I think, a little bit of edge in my personality. I have a little bit of rebellion in me. So that perfume doesn't really fit my personality. Whenever I wear that, I feel like pretentious person. That's how it feels like. And because of that, I don't gravitate towards using it. And therefore, I don't have it anymore in my perfume collection. Number six, Paco Rabanne Olympia. There's nothing wrong with this perfume. Absolutely love it, but I already use it up and I haven't bought a replacement yet. Um, yeah, so I guess next I'm gonna work on my manifesto. It has similar base of oriental vanilla-ish, um, except um, Olympia is a beautiful salty vanilla with ambergris. I love it during summer not a big fan of it during winter all right so number seven alice up girl of now shine i love this perfume so much i bought it and i use a lot of it like maybe 30 to 40 percent of it for the first two months i was obsessed 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 and then for some reason now i grew out of love from that perfume there is something sharp in that perfume that bothers me a little bit. I think maybe it's like the dry down. I love the opening. It's like a beautiful pineapple, coconutty, sweet gourmand vanilla scent. But the dry down is just a typical orange blossom vanilla scent, which I love. But it also has this residual pineapple. And that comes a little bit sharp yeah so because of that I don't gravitate towards using it I still love it and I think I still do recommend it it's just that I grew out of love from that perfume I kind of grew tired of it 
All right, so number eight, this is Mancera Velvet Vanilla. It's crazy. When my subscriber sent me a decan of Velvet Vanilla, I was obsessed with it and I was looking for it everywhere. Finally, I bought a full bottle and then like half a year later, I grew out of love from it. I actually really, really enjoyed the dry down. The dry down is a beautiful, beautiful bubblegum vanilla. But the opening, it has this Angelica. And the Angelica here is very green. I'm not a big fan of green, even though I do have some green scent, but I don't gravitate towards using them. And I'm very, very picky. So Velvet Vanilla is one of the perfume that I have a love relationship with the dry down, but I'm not a big fan of the opening. It's a little bit harsh, it's a little bit green, and it's a little bit sharp. So every time I put it on, it like makes me disappointed for about two hours, an hour to two hours. And after that, I absolutely love it. So I don't know. So it's like I go back and forth between decluttering and keeping it. But finally, I decided to let it go just because I love all of the perfume that I have here. So if there is any things that annoys me, it has to go. It has to go. All right, so number nine, the perfume that I decluttered, unfortunately, is Carolina Herrera Sandal Ruby. I have a whole video about it, so I'm gonna link it here. A short of the story is that this is a very oriental perfume. I love sandalwood. This is very sandalwoody tuberose. A tuberose is a little bit green for me. The whole scent is a little bit too beast mode for me. And the sandalwood is a little bit too woody and woody for me. And sometimes I smell tobacco vanille. Even though I enjoy smelling tobacco vanilla, but it's not something that I want to wear for myself. It's not my kind of scent profile. Yeah. So because of that, I have to let go of it. It's unfortunate. I really, really want to own it. I really want to own something from Carolina Herrera line. But after my research, knowing that they all have the same base, I know that that perfume is not for me. And also I noticed that Carolina Herrera smells very similar to Roots Array. Yeah. So if you have Roots Array and if you love it, go ahead and try out the Carolina Herrera private collection. But if you love this one, which I do. You might not like that one as much unless if you like beast mode and very oriental. I don't know. I used to love this one so much, Roots Array. After um, getting Karina Herrera, it kind of ruins it for me for this one, um, for Roots Array. So it's unfortunate. But I really want to keep one from Atelier Des Ors just because it's so beautiful. So maybe I'll hang on to this and then see how I feel. I'm going to wait for, you know, a couple of weeks um, before trying Roots Array again. Or maybe w during fall time when it's less hot because I live in Texas. So, yeah. Number 10, the perfume that I got rid of is Lancome Oud Bouquet. I actually do enjoy the scent. It's a beautiful rose proline and saffron. It's very oriental. It's too beast mode for me. I used to own perfume with the gold packaging. I forgot what it's called. Um, it is a spot on dupe as Lancome Oud Bouquet. And I decluttered that perfume thinking that it is too beast mode for me. I don't gravitate towards using it because it kind of smelled too loud, too arrogant. And then I decided to get Lancome Oud Bouquet. Lesson learned is if you don't like that one and don't wear a lot of the cologne, you probably won't like the original. So that's the thing that I learned from my experience. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to check out Lily Silk. Um, they have a 15% discount. Don't
please consider using my coat so that you could benefit from it. I really enjoyed this silk blouse, guys, so check it out. Bye.